After you're done scraping all the wax off your skis, you're ready to brush the skis to a nice clean polish. Swix makes uh, quite a few different brushes here, as you can see. Um, basically, the brushes are gonna work like varying grits of sandpaper from really aggressive to very fine. And each of these brushes can have a really special individual use or they can be used together to get to a, a really nice clean finish ski when you're done. Uh, personally for me, I like to use a couple of brushes here, the large oval steel. It's kind of a nice brush. It's a workhorse. It's really good at removing um, cold waxes and breaking in new skis. I also like to use a medium brass brush, um, also very versatile, um, a little bit softer than the steel, um, and also any of these brushes that are with metal in them, you want to make sure you use them in a direction. So there's an arrow on there, so consistently use it in one direction. Also with the metal brushes, as you use them, the uh, bristles kind of bend over and they become less aggressive over time. So um, if, you're, if you're on snow 80 to 100 days a year, these brushes sh should be replaced every year. And then we get into some softer brushes, the nylons um, and some of the natural fibers that are very soft. And these are better used for polishing at the end for race waxing. Um, but I'm gonna use three brushes together to get to a nice clean finish. And then also we have a roto brush. And this brush has a, a bunch of different barrels that come in metal or nylon or whatever it might be. But this is really helpful for when you're working on a lot of skis. It, it makes the process really quick and uh, makes for a really nice finish. Uh, make sure when you're brushing your skis that you wear the proper PPE um, because there's a lot of particulates that end up in the air. And we're going to start in the tip, work our way to the tail, and go through the progression of brushes. When you're done, you'll have a highly polished ski ready to race.